I'm not gonna name names, but when I see her black women like, oh, you know, I just have long hair and they and it's like, well, what did you do? And it's like, <laughs> I drank water and it's like. Okay, in this video, I'm talking about the 10 things I'm doing to get my hair to tailbone length. If you don't know me, like I said, I'm Deanna. That's my kangaroo Jackie. I I put my hair through a lot. Look at y'all, my edges. You see how they a little pushed back? No, like I'm 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 literally like a little upset because I the hairline used to be kachunk, right? I've had I put my hair through a lot, y'all. I put my hair through a lot. I've dyed it. I've experimented on it to build my company and in building my company I'm experimenting on it but I'm doing it safer like I was just my, I'm trying to my hair is about waist length but then I had to trim it so it's like between mid back waist length okay so right now I'm going to show you what my hair looks like if you haven't seen by the thumbnail um my hair silk pressed looks really cute but I, I'm not going to still press my hair until it gets to tailbone length. So I'm trying to get it to tailbone length by September 3rd. The significance of September 3rd is my birthday. So let's just get into this video. And step one, a number one thing, is I'm going to apply a rosemary oil to my scalp two times per day. Um, rosemary oil, if you don't know, is, and I'm not just talking specific brands, I'm talking rosemary oil. Um, or oil that not pure rosemary oil well okay yes pure rosemary oil is rich in carcinic acid carcinic acid inhibits DHT produ production so DHT is basically encased around the roots of your hair and when DHT is encased around the roots of your hair your hair can't get nutrients and stuff like that so if your hair can't get access to blood supply and nutrients the follicle the root will shrink and then you're just not gonna have no hair your hair will be it'll start to thin that's why people, men who have like male pattern baldness, people who have alopecia, tend to have higher levels of DHT. So carcinic acid inhibits DHT production because it inhibits the enzyme that per converts testosterone to DHT. So that's the, why the, um, rosemary oil and go carcinic acid is so important. It's found in rosemary oil. It's found in rosemary, basil, oregano. So I, through my company, I don't have one on me. Uh, it's kind of a good thing. We have developed, uh, you know, we may or may have not developed through Deanna's Breakthrough Formula a rosemary oil So that I have been using and seeing results because I'm seeing a little sprouts because, baby, when I tell you it was nothing, I see a little sprout action. But it's not like I'm bald, you know, it's not like I'm bald-headed, like, never that. But I'm talking the hairline used to be like... And between dyeing it, flat ironing it, flat ironing it, and you know, just just dyeing my hair, experimenting, my hair is just. She just wants to be healthy. I am going to dye my hair back to black. If any advice I can give you, do n don't dye your hair. If you think you want to dye your hair, don't dye your hair. Let me let me let me disabuse you of any notion you had to dye your hair. Well, get a wig, get a wig, get a wig, get a wig, get a wig. Don't dye your hair. You understand? Leave your hair alone. I dyed my hair. I was trying to see. I dyed it twice. I didn't leave well enough alone. So, rosemary oil twice a day is what I would do. That's step one. Step two, I would scalp. I'm scalp massaging with the inversion method uh, once a day for five minutes. So, if you don't know the inversion method, I don't know why I blurred in and out. Probably because I'm moving a lot. But the inversion method is when you hold your head back or forward or back to promote blood flow to your scalp so that is what helps when you're promoting blood flow you're causing like all the nutrients to come rush to your hair roots to your hair um to the roots of your hair and feeding your hair and especially when you're doing this so let's say hypothetically i did the scalp oil in the morning and then my first you know my scalp massage was with the inversion method now if you have high blood pressure or if you're pregnant don't do this you know don't do this for health reasons you don't want or if you're prone to it's funny because i'm prone to syncopal episodes but yeah i'm fine i'm fine i just sit up slowly but if you don't always talk to your doctor don't just do this because this youtuber told you this youtuber said nothing to you okay this youtuber told you to go talk to your doctor first okay so that's what i would do also scalp massaging with the inversion method once a day 
um, for five minutes. And if you can't, if you're like, listen, I'm pregnant or I got the high blood pressure, okay? Just scalp massage, okay? And you can scalp massage with an electric scalp massager. You can scalp massage with a wooden, this is the tool I am I got from Amazon. Not sponsored, by the way. And you, or you can scalp massage with your hands. When you scalp massage with your hands, always, 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 you're not doing this. I'm not going to mess up my hair for y'all. You're not doing this. You're not doing this. You're going to come here. You're going to put your hands on your head. And you're going to basically like massage your brain. It feels really good. But this is like what it is. You're basically like squeezing. Um, They call it like skull over some method. But that's what it is. It's basically like you're squeezing your hair and you're promoting blood flow. But you just scratching your head. Scratching your head is not a scalp massage. This is a scalp massage. You're taking a scalp massage and literally you're not doing this. What are you doing? You're just going area by area and applying a stable amount of pressure to that area, okay? When you have an electric scalp massager, it does that for you. It literally needs your scalp for you. So if you're not new to my channel, if you're new to my channel, hi. If you're not new, guys, I'm not wearing my glasses. I just wanted to point that out. I wasn't wearing my glasses. I'm trying not to wear my glasses because I realize I use my glasses as a shield and I don't want to do that no more. So this is what my eyes look like. I, I'm, I'm sure y'all knew that, but... I'm showing you anyway. And that's Jackie. And she's in her cowboy hat. Because Cowboy Carter just came out. We were listening to it. So she was, you know, um, she was listening to it. And this is Bucky. My cow. Bucky. My steer. And Beyonce made a song just for him. Called Sweet Honey Buckin'. And I thought about it. So, well, and, and I was, that's very sweet of her. So I thought about Bucky. So he has his little bandana. Bucky's from Texas. He's from Houston, by the way. So I just wanted y'all to know that. He's Jackie's um, older brother. Okay. I just have to put that out there. So the number fourth thing I would do in getting my hair to tailbone length by September 3rd is I will scalp massage without the inversion method two times a day anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes. Now, the longer you do it, the more effective it's going to be. But 10 minutes is still twice a day consistently in addition to the once a day with the inversion method if you don't got the pregnancy or, or uh, on the pr pressure pill or you know <laughs> you know you know I'm just saying like don't like I said talk to your doctor so two times a day without the inversion method just um scalp massaging for 10 minutes you know when you have an electric scalp massager I'm missing two of the prongs for mine I don't know where they went but okay um, when you're using an electric scalp massager, try not to use the oil because the oil can cause the adhesive in the, the prongs of the scalp massager to separate. Uh, if not, I like to, you know, when I put my scarf or my bonnet on, I massage my scalp through that. And it's just as effective. So, yeah, do that. And also when you do it through the electric scalp massager, I link mine in the description box. Not sponsored, but I feel like they should because I've def I know the Amazon cards have been high since I've been talking about it. Just saying, but um, um, it runs automatically for ten minutes. So just know that when you're doing your scalp massage for ten minutes, it it um it will run the time the the scalp massager will stop after ten minutes. So that's a good way to know. So that's like that's like two episodes of Family Guy. Okay, that's like that's like one episode. Two, running it twice is like one episode of Family Guy or any like 30 minute because it's really like 22 minutes to come. Or if you do it about four times, two to three times, that's like three quarters way through an episode of a one hour series. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how you can think about it because people are like, oh, I don't have time. But I'm like when you're on TikTok scrolling, you can just... You can just do this. You can just let the thing do its thing. Like you, you know, there's some effort involved, but you know, like it's not, it's more the consistency. Cause for me, it's like, I can't be mad at other women for having beautiful, long, healthy hair. And a lot of the women put their, put, put the work in. And a lot of the tips that I'm learning, I got from Indian, Southeast Asian and white women. I find that and I could be in the mi minority here, and that's fine. But I find that a lot of black women with type 4 or type 4 hair that's like very long to their tailbone, to their hip, they're very scarce with the type of information that they give on how they grew and all that they did to grow their hair, right? I said this on TikTok. They got really mad. I'm really, you know, they, they kind of like me over there. They kind of don't. And they got mad. They were like, well, they're not gatekeeping. They were just saying what works for them. But it's like, 
actually no because if I go in the comment sections of these women with type 4 natural hair and they have the hair down to their ankles and you know we asked did my earring fall it sure did and I don't know where the back went y'all so we just gonna sport the one earring but you know, I, I look in the comment sections and other women are like, you know, what did you get to, you know, get your hair to your to your knees, to your thigh? And a lot of, you know, they're really, they're very like, oh, you know, I just ate water. They're just saying like, oh, you know, I just ate water and drank healthy and did all these things. And by the way, if your hair is growing and you don't like any of these tips, I, you know, you telling me, well, I didn't do none of that and my hair grew. Okay, that's great for you. Like, you telling me you didn't do any of what I'm suggesting or what I'm implementing for myself is okay. Like, that's awesome. Like, I, I don't know what you expect me to... I don't know what you expect me to do. And it's, it's annoying because on TikTok, I'm going to tell y'all... I'm going to tell y'all something when I get to step... Hold on. When I get to step five, I'm going to tell y'all something and y'all going to be shocked. So hold on for step five because I'm going to just tell you step four right now. Is keep um, hair moisturized and protective style. Um, for me, it's medium or mini twist using the locks method. So for me, a lot of women, they do lock method, the LACO method, LCO. I like the locks method. That's liquid or leave-in, oil, cream, sealant. And from um, when you're doing that um, daily, you're keeping, you're adding some kind of water or moisture. So I want you guys to know there's a difference between hydration and moisture. Hydration is when you're adding some like water, like aloe vera juice, water, that, you know, that's like hydrating, right? Moisture is a product that has a lot of moisture, has water ingredients, but they also have a lot of some oil components to it so it's usually like an, emul an emulsion of some sorts right oil is not a moisturizer oil seals moisture i want to be clear there if anyone says there's a hydrating or moisturizing oil it's it, unless there's water in it which i guess in theory then that's true but more times than not olive oil any oil is not a moisturizer it's a sealant right because oil and water don't mix for all my uh, biology, chemistry, I'm a molecular and cell biology um, degree. I am from, you know, I graduated with that degree. That's what it's in. And even if you know, not, chem, we all know. Polar, non-polar things don't mix. Polar has a charge. Non-polar doesn't have a charge. Water is polar. The oxygen molecule has a negative charge on water. But things, oil is a chain of just non-polar molecules. And things that have a charge and things that don't got a charge don't mix. Okay, it's not like positive, negative, attract, no. They don't mix. So, so water, so um, oil is then, because it's oil is non-polar, it's hydrophobic. It doesn't like water. It will push out the water. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, water, hydrophilic, you know, loves water. Obviously, things like salt, you know, they dissolve in water, but you, you understand. So, oil and water cannot mix. Therefore, it's not the same thing. People like say like, oh yeah, oil is a moisturizer. It is not. Where is the moisture? Riddle me that. Like, where is the moisture? The moisture, is the moisture in the room with us? No, it's not. So, just, just saying, but liquid, oil. What you, the oil can seal the moisture. And then when you have your cream... The, the the okay the oil seals that hydration the cream adds a layer of moisture you feel me and then the sealant is what gets the ends nice and juicy unfortunately um if you're the type of natural like i know t a lot of type 3 and type 2 and type 1 uh, well, I don't want to say natural, but I'll say type 3 naturals. They can use oil or grease to seal their ends. I couldn't. Um, back Way back when, when I started my natural hair journey back in 2018, when I big chopped my hair, I literally scoured the internet for... This is... I'm telling y'all... I'm telling y'all something. Y'all will be like... <gasps> but I scoured the internet for stuff and I couldn't find any help and I would always like go from one video to the next thinking like they have the answer they have the answer they have the answer they they and I would try it their way and it didn't work and I tried their way and it didn't work and I tried it their way and it didn't work and this leads me to step five is keeping your end sealed the reason why this is the step I was like 
y'all i got a lot of hate for on tiktok well not hate but i did get a lot of backlash and a lot of business thank y'all because i had to create a product that was first a makeshift like beeswax right so let's just let's just say this let's everyone just everyone come here come here let's everyone just come here in order to retain length, right, the reason why I said keep ends sealed is that's how you retain length. You will not retain length if your ends are breaking. Now, when I said this on TikTok, people got, people are like, no, length retention is about DNA or genetics or drinking water. No, that's just about hair health and, you know, you being healthy because your hair is an extension of you. If you create an inflamed you know soil what nothing good nothing good grows in inflammation tumors and the like yeah bad things grow in inflammation but healthy hair growth is not going to happen if you're eating a lot of sugar all this stuff so what they're saying is not so much for length retention that goes for just healthy hair i said what length are you going to retain if your ends are constantly breaking let me show you my hair my hair is in a bun right now it's in a cute little bun and right now my ends are pretty much sealed. I'm just taking my hair out. And I'm not saying that my hair is not healthy, y'all. But I'm saying, like, I want my hair. You see the girl to the, obviously the girl to the, to the right of me, um, in my, in the thumbnail. That's a, that's a goal. Like, I want to silk press my hair and the silk press be silken like hers. So, this is my hair. Um, as you can see, I have to wash my hair. But it's pretty sealed. Like, you know, the ends are a little dry because I haven't really sealed my ends. But overall, they're pretty healthy. Like, my hair is pretty healthy. It's dyed. And I do have some heat damage and chemical damage. And just my hair took a beating it's in the front of my end. So it's not in the front of my hair. So it's not as curly as, like, the back of my hair. And even that is, like, just my, I'm just trying to recover my hair. But I said... So you guys can see my hair. So it's it's not like it's not long or anything. It's not thick. Because for the longest time, what was happening? Oh, period. Inches. For the longest time, I couldn't break my hair growth plateau. And I made the video. That video changed my life on YouTube on how I broke my hair growth plateau. And I was basically doing almost all of these steps. But now I'm adding on because I know what it's going to take for me to fill back in. You know, my edges and, you know, get to tailbone length by September 3rd, which is ambitious. But I've done harder things in my life, like fight cancer while I was in college and get my degree. So if I can do that, I can get my hair, okay? By the way, never let anyone put their, their limits on you because I've been falling in that trap a little lately and saying, like, I'm going to tell y'all, I was this close to being like, I'm shutting down my company like I said, if you don't know, I have a I, I formulated a hair care company because I was tired of misinformation, gatekeeping, or just piecemeal information, or overall just cliche hair advice. So I wanted to build a company that was a plant-based, nutrient-rich formulation to have healthy hair. Like a lot of the products that claim healthy hair, like, oh, this is gonna grow your hair. First of all, no product can grow your hair. My products can't just grow your hair. But that's just not how it works. However, okay, cute little bun. However, you have something like hair growth promotion, right? Products can only claim, products can't even claim hair growth, right? The rosemary oil, I guess in some ways, is it's growth promoting because it can promote growth, but you're really not going to see the growth if you're not retaining length. So hair growth is a process of different things it's not like i said I'm, I'm telling you all the things i'm doing i didn't say this just this this is it is a whole process of hair care and if you again didn't have to do any of this but your hair is bust down to your ankles or growing at a rapid speed and healthy just disregard what i'm saying don't even don't even why are you watching this video like why are you watching this video can i just say something I'm really tired when I advertise my company on TikTok. I'm advertising this company as a plant-based nutrient rich because it is, right? And I'm, I don't want to pressure people to buy it, but I do need to market it because how are people going to know that they have an alternative in hair care if they don't know the company exists. So when I'm explaining to people what I'm explaining to you about, you know, why certain things are misleading they get mad. a lot of people were like the vocal minority was getting annoyed they were like oh my god you know like 
you're just trying to you're just always just you, people you you're just always trying to sell or just say you wanted to sell us something it's like there are other natural hair influencers who create companies who have hair care companies that claim this and claim that this 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 product took their hair from this to this which no product can grow your hair that if they said length retention yes right because the sealant butter that i created which is in a part of keeping my ends sealed help me to retain length because my ends weren't breaking right if your ends are breaking what length are you going to see quickly like what length are you going to see retained if your ends are constantly getting knotted and coming off it's just not it's just it's just it doesn't work like that and if you are type 4 and you've tried to seal your ends but you notice oil grease water cream doesn't work I highly recommend you try the sealant butter and see if it works for you. It has a lot of good reviews, so I'm not making it up. I just, I, you know, it's a very hard, you know how hard it is to make something that was never been made? It's an invention from me and Jackie. Like, we put our little noggins together and, and we, and... It, it was actually an accident. This this formulation was an accident. I was stumbling around with other things and God led me to this. And it's helping so many people retain length. And it's just so frustrating because other people can get away with making half booty products. I'm talking half booty. I'm talking like there's a little too many ingredients in this product. Like this, this first of all, first of all, first of all, booty, like where the hair growth promoting ingredients. And I know... Like I said, this company that we that you know, Deanna's Breakthrough Formula is built on a plant based, nutrient rich formulation system. Meaning, whatever is the what we were promoting for, let's say the mango butter and flaxseed oil collection, that is what is in the product. Do you understand? If we say mango butter and flaxseed oil collection, expect it to be rich in that. It's just it, it otherwise, otherwise, it's just misleading because you're. It's just misleading, and I didn't want to be another company that was like, oh, the super hair growth, I don't know, cocoa butter curl cream, and two sprigs of cocoa butters in there, and people are like, why am I putting this in my hair and nothing's happening? It's like, well, first of all, even if you were to just put, we have curl creams that are formulated with MSM powder. If you were to just put the curl cream and neglect any other aspect of your hair care and your and your how you care for your body, don't expect anything, right? Things can only be called hair growth. Things can even be called hair growth. It's hair growth promoting. Hair growth promoting. You can only create conditions to promote growth. And in order to do so, you have to add, the formulation has to be rich in the advertising ingredient. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, for a brief minute, I thought about canceling my company and being like, you know what? I ain't even going to... I'm not doing this. Like, why am I doing this? Why am I? I'm literally just trying to help. And people are like, you're just trying to scam us. I'm not trying. You don't think if I was trying to scam you, I would just scam you. I wouldn't have to convince you. That's why the other girls scam y'all. Y'all listen. They're th like I said, it's really like y'all listening to other girls calling you ball headed, this, that, and the third. And you got locked in pen and paper. I'm trying to help. And y'all are just like. She's trying to take our money. I'm not. I don't need your money. People are buying this product because people are, people are listening, and then people are. Don't take my word for it. Go to the reviews. Like, do, I, I, so it's. I hope you understand, y'all, my frustration with. It's it, it's just like you try to do things the good, the honest way with intention, and other people do things in like you know, don't know well that that ingredient really not in that product. Like you just know. And they do things in a way that's like, hmm, I'm not going to name names because I'm not messy like that. But imagine if I was, imagine if I, if I was being messy, like Real Housewife of Atlanta receipts. No, that's not, that's, I think that's Real Housewives of Utah receipts, proof, timeline, emails. Like what if I was that messy? What if I was that messy? But I'm not though, because I, I know God I, I God would make an example out of me quick. So keeping your end sealed is something that you have to have a product to do so. Um, you know, I have like I said, I had to create one for me, um in order for it to work. And when I the makeshift one and then when I created 
the sealant butter, called the Anna sealant butter. It's just so smooth. I wish I finished mine. Y'all, they are selling like hotcakes. We are literally, normally they'd always be out of stock, but we're trying our best as a company to keep up with the demand. So we're just like making them, the more come in, making them, more come in. And who do you think's in charge of overseeing making them? Me. Who do you think's in charge of understand me? Like I'm just trying to like make sure like, okay, they get made, they're moving, they get made, they're moving. Like my dad is like, we got to move the product. And I'm like, do you, like a drug dealer? And that's kind of what it feels like. We got to move it. We got to move it. Like, so not that it's drugs. But I'm just saying that's what it feels like. We just got to move it. And I'm, we're really doing our best to, to just keep up with the demand. And thank you guys that are interested. Thank you. I wasn't trying to like divert from the steps. But I want you to understand that I'm not, I had better things to do than start my own hair care company by right. I could have just invented all these products, kept it to myself, and told y'all to be safe. Like, like, you know, it was such a sacrifice starting this company because I was doing well on YouTube. Like, my channel was monetized and I was making more money. And I had to take a step back. If anyone remembers back in 2022, I had to take a step back to formulate this company. And I was not posting. And that's losing money because when you're not posting as much, you're not... Like, you're just not going to make as much money. So, with that being said, um, I didn't have to create the company. I could have kept it to myself and made money and just said, we'll just do this or find a curl cream that works for you. But I'm like, no, because if this curl cream works for me, it can work for somebody else. If this sealant butter can work for me, it can work for somebody else. And it's working for other people. So, yeah. <laughs> Yay, I'm actually glad I'm not wearing my glasses. Guys, I can't wait to get into summer looks and summer outfits. But yeah, I, I just wanted to make that real clear to y'all. So if you didn't want to hear this, you probably would have looked in the timeline and been like, man, she talking too much. I don't care about that. I just want to know the steps. I have to give y'all context, okay? So that's step five. Step six, wash hair bi-weekly or every four weeks. So it depends. Actually, I take this back washing hair bi-weekly every four weeks or even washing my hair weekly because last week um it depends on the style that you do right if you have your hair in like five chunky braids right then you can probably wash your hair every week because it's less time to do five four five or six big braids or twists than it is to do like really small mini twists but if you're doing really small mini twists I wouldn't go no more than four, five weeks at a time without washing your hair. Like, take them out, wash your hair. However, you can wash your hair weekly with medium mini twists. You can wash your hair. And I've been finding it um, beneficial um, to wash my hair weekly. I've been doing that, and it's really helpful um, for me in terms of just keeping my hair, you know, all that... Um, especially with heat damage, I bought, oops, something fell, you know, I bought this, not sponsored by the way, but I, I bought this L'Oreal LV Total Repair Power Restore, uh, like, it's like a, like a deep conditioner, but you can also use it as a leave-in. I wouldn't use it as a leave-in because I don't like leaving rich protein products in my hair because that can also not be good for my hair. I ain't saying nothing about you. I'm saying me. Um, but it can help for damaged hair. And because I have some heat damage and I do want to dye my hair back to black in six months from now, which, you know, my birthday, um, I want to make sure my hair is strong enough to do so. So I bought this. This is what it looks like. I haven't used it yet. It It, it smells like... It smells like a typical salon product. That's what it smells like. So I'll, I'll try it by itself. Like usually when I do deep conditioners, I add stuff. But I want to see how good it is on its own. Um, the smell is kind of like a... Like a, like a, like a traditional salon hair care product smell. Like it's a little too, like a little too, but it, I... You know what, you know, people say that about Deanna's Breakthrough Formula products. A lot of people love the smell. And then there's like two people who are like, I don't like the smell. And it's like, by the way, if you don't know Deanna's Breakthrough Formula products, 
I have to put the scent profile on there so people know what it is. It is a, it is like a mahogany, teak wood, sandalwood notes with vanilla blend. With vanilla and amber. Like, that's the scent profile. So that's, some people, most people love it. Most people don't think there's a, like, my cousin, like, she, she's like, you need to put more fragrance. I'm like, I can't just change the, you know, like, I, I, I like, when people say that, part of me is like, I, I mean, I really just can't change the whole formula of the product because I can't just change the whole formula of the product. So some, but most people really love it. I, I think it has, like, a very distinguished scent profile, and it's, it's, it, it feels like, ooh, it's the type of scent that's like, ooh. Like, ooh, like, it's just like, ooh, like, it, it just hits the, let me see if I have, oh, this is some curl cream. So when I run out of coil cream, by the way, when I use the cream in the back to the lock method, I use coil cream, by the way, and that's my curl cream. That's my curl cream. But when I run out of coil cream, I do use curl cream. Now, curl cream is lighter and it has a little bit more slip because it's not as thick as coils, but coil cream is for type 4 hair. But when I run out of it, I just, I, I had this, so I use it. It's It works. It's just, just not as heavy. And for my hair texture, I I need the coil cream because it weighs my hair down, but it's still very rich. So if you like, were, let's say you are like, I don't know, like transitioning, awesome. If you were type 1, type 2, type 3, awesome. If you were, you know, a type, if you were, I'm going to do a silk press and you wanted something to put in to layer with your heat protectant, I put a little of this to add some moisture. That's, just, that's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah. You see, it just gets... You know what we need? A body butter with this scent. Hmm. Not the wheels are turning. Oh, it just hits the nose. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just... And I'm not saying this because it's my product. Because if it, if it, if it... First of all, if I didn't like the scent, I wouldn't have sold it. You understand? Like, it just hits the nose the right way. I just... Ooh, the, the vanilla and the amber and the sandalwood and the little teak, the little, 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 the behind the teak with a little action. Like, it's, it's just eating down in such a... It's just eating. It's just hitting the nose in all the right spots. So, yeah. Um, so what I love about the products, I mean, the scent, that's why companies invest a lot in fragrance and scents. They invest a lot in that because they know that that, before people use a product, they gonna smell it first. That's why we invest, like, a lot in the scents because your first impression of the product is the scent and then the texture and obviously the packaging, um, and then the ingredients. So yeah, it's very important that we have great scent profiles from ethical places and also that are not too chemically, you know, derived, if you understand. All right. Okay. Just kidding. Step number seven. Y'all, I hope y'all following. If you're not, just, you should be taking notes. I should say this at every video. Take notes, okay? Y'all, take notes, okay? If I'm doing the tough work of doing the groundwork, y'all, at least just get get you a pen, a pad, some, a laptop, iPad, a stone, and a chisel, something, okay? Okay, so step seven, deep condition every wash day, spraying with rosemary tea first. By the way, all these steps and some variation, oh, that, ah, that's a surprise. Oh, sorry, never mind. Okay, so deep condition every wash day. So every wash day, you should be deep conditioning. Only do a protein treatment once a month. So because this product has 91 grams of protein in it, I don't know if that's per bottle but that's enough that's enough that that it says protein per jar so this has 91 grams of protein in it i probably don't need to add any more else that's pretty that's pretty concentrated um that's pretty concentrated so i don't need to add and how many ounces is it it's 23 ounces and this was like six dollars this was like six or eight dollars on amazon I was like wow that's you know I've never tried Olaplex, but if this doesn't work, I'm going to use Olaplex. Um, so yeah, protein treatment deep conditioner once a month. You don't need to do it more than that. Unless your hair is damaged, then I guess every three weeks. But deep condition every wash day. Get a deep conditioner that you love or get a deep conditioner that you love. Like, 
one of the big goals of this company is we're still formulating a deep conditioner. What I tell y'all, come here, come here, come here, come here. The deep conditioner we're going to formulate is going to eat. I just promise y'all that. Like, this is why I'm t it's taking a while because I'm like, I want this to eat down. I want it to give slip, deep conditioning. I want it to give a scent profile that feels like you in a luxury spa. I want it to give. So, good things take time. So, still working on it. We're still working on it. My team and I... By the way, Jackie is a part of my team. Jackie is a part of the DBF team, by the way. You should know that. She's my assistant. And I also have an assistant, but she's really assistant really assists Jackie to assist me. You, you get it. Okay, so, oh, lead step eight. Step eight is protein treatment once a month. Like, you don't need to exceed that unless your hair is really damaged, then I guess every three weeks. And then step nine, trim ends as needed. Don't you get scissor happy and just start chopping off your hair. Because then what growth are you going to see if you ch chopping up six inches every month? You should be dusting your hair as needed. So if you see kind of a stunted, stringy end that's like a nub and it's not growing and it's just stringy, cut that. Just trim it. Dust your ends as needed, okay? Every time you wash your hair, um, at least once uh, every two weeks, Every three weeks or as needed. Like if you see a, any part of your twist. And twists are great for this. So if your hair is in twists. It's so great because you could just see it. But if you're in a. when you, I wouldn't recommend wash and goes. Unless wash and goes work for you. But I feel like with wash and goes. Your, your ends are more likely to get single strand not So you're not going to retain length this month. But if you're a wash and go girly. And that you love wash and goes. And you're retaining length in it. Keep going. Keep going. Do what you're doing, girl. Okay? But trim ends as needed. If you see your ends look kind of stunted. Just give them a little dusting. Get a nice shear and just do a little clip clip. And number 10. Something I'm starting to do. And it's really making a difference. Is deep oil your hair one to two times a week with heat. Okay? Now you can do this with two ways. You can get your favorite hair oil. It could just be avocado oil. Olive oil. Just oil rich in fatty acids that's so olive oil i just i love olive oil for this i was using the omla oil for this but on they were you know i know it has a lot of mineral oil and that's not the best for your hair so olive oil avocado oil you can either heat the oil up a little bit in the microwave in a in a, in a safe dish like a pyrex cup and then just and put it all over your hair or you can put the hair oil on your hair and then get like Go sit under the dryer and then that's heat. So those are two ways you can do it. But for me, like I said, oil doesn't work for my ends. For my hair, she loves it, right? And I was doing wet oiling, meaning I was spraying my hair with water. Then I added o the oil, right? But then I started dry oiling and I was like, oh, shoot. This is nice too, but my ends are suffering because the oil is just drying out the ends because the ends are so delicate. So what I did is I put the sealant butter on the ends of my hair and really got my hair nice and, you know, also coiled and, and juicy in the ends of my hair. And then what I do is, so after I apply the oil, I'm talking slap that thing in your, protect. don't take your protective style out of your hair to do this. Actually, you can. You can. You can do this because I try to do this, so if you're doing it once a week, do in your and you know you're gonna wash your hair do it the day before you wash your hair and trust me it's just a game changer so like put the oil on i should do this video remind me to make that video somebody leave a comment say deanna just show us because i will show you oil the hair get the seal of butter clump the ends put your hair in a little bun um wrap your hair with either cling wrap or a plastic cap sit under you can get a heated i said heat Hey, found it. So this is a heated um, cap. You can get this from Amazon. And all you do is just the microwavable deep conditioning cap. Pop it in the microwave for like um, a minute, 30 seconds. And boom. You, nice toasty head. And you can, I usually um, do leave it on overnight. And then rinse out. And then I don't even rinse out the oil. I just put. I reverse deep condition. I deep condition my hair with it. 
and then rinse everything out. And the last time I did this, my hair came out really, really soft. But if you are like, no, Deanna, I have to rinse out the oil before I deep condition my hair. Go ahead. Do what you do. What you do. Like, you know. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys understood where I was coming from about my company. And if you're interested, go on Deanna's Breakthrough Formula .com, um, and you can see the product, you can see the formulations, you can see why we put the ingredients we put and why it's, we're so intentional about creating these products. You know, like I said, it can be frustrating because I was this close, like when I was getting all those negative comments, I was like, that's it. No more company. Company disbanded. That's it. No more company. No more products. That's it, you know. And I'm trying to, like, be tough. And I don't know how Beyonce does it. I don't know how she looks at her Instagram and she sees people being like, ah! And she's just like, part of it could be she's rich and she's talented and she doesn't need their approval. But, you know, I, I'm saying, like, I'm just like, how do you just... Because the vocal minority be vocal. Like, y'all be mean. Like, imagine, I'm trying to help you. And you yelling at me like, why are you booing me? I'm helping. But the girls over there that are like, I put this hair growth oil on my hair and my hair grew to my ankles. You'll be like, well, send the link. The link? So, I'm, so, I'm just, the link, the link. You mean you're, okay. Um. So I'm going to just keep minding my own business and building my own company. And I'm going to start marketing more on YouTube because I feel like YouTube, I mean, TikTok, there's a huge market, but TikTok comes TikTok, the algorithm will spread your video out. Like, when the algorithm takes it, it can spread it out. So that's a good thing. But it's also, like, a not good thing because then you're getting a lot of, like, curiosity questions. But you're also getting a lot of, hmm. You know, if you're familiar with the saying, put on down now to see him look. You're, you know that what one person can get away with, one person can't. And one person can... I'm the type of person that's like, I can't get away with nothing. Not that I'm trying anything either. If I'm saying like, if other girls are saying scamming, they're basically saying this product will grow your hair overnight, which is a lie because that's just not true. People be like, oh my God, save my money. But if I say, hey, I, I use a sealant butter because it's been the one thing that has helped me retain length. Oh, you're just trying to sell us stuff. Oh, here they go. They never really try and give us advice. Like, I'm telling you, like, nothing is going to seal your ends until you have something to seal your ends. And if you have a product that seals your end, whether it's oil or grease, that works for you, great. But if not, like this is an alternative and it's an invention that I that I created just so we I more naturals can re retain length. Here you go again. All you need to retain your length is eating healthy and drinking water and having good genetics. It's like no, like and I realize when you, you can't argue with people who are nincompoops. You can't argue with nincompoops because you will be the biggest nincompoop of all. Like, if you argue with a nincompoop, you try to tell someone that genetics does not play the role in hair growth that you think it does. Genetics controls your terminal length, meaning meaning the most your hair can grow. Now, some people, if they're, if they're, if your hair cannot grow past your shoulders, your shoulders is not really most people's... Um, Terminal length. Most people might have terminal length at bra strap level, but it's not going to be terminal length. Okay, uh, that's that, that's their terminal length. It's not going to be their shoulders. It's more than likely plateaued. So in order to break that hair growth plateau, you need to be better at retaining length. So you need to make sure your ends are sealed because if they're constantly breaking, you're not going to retain length. You can explain that to your actual black and blue in the face, like to your pink. People will still say actually is genetics actually no because genetics does control like you're are you trying to talk to people who haven't research they don't know if i ask them what's hydrophilic and hydrophobic what's non-polar versus polar what is the do you understand why ph is important do you understand like if i were to talk to people like since you know so much since you know so much why is carcinic oh okay you're talking about this grows your hair why is, do you understand why how dht works to not to be ineffective to excess levels cause hair loss. Do you understand why? These people would know up from down, up from down, left from right. Yet they want to tell me who's research, who went to school, was going to be a doctor, and then took this company and turned it in, took my years of scientific training and research and, and, and utilized it to create this company. And people are like, actually, somebody straight up told me in the comments, they were like, actually, you shouldn't have created a company. 
you just needed to use this product instead. I'm like, so it was literally like you, you, what you, that, you, that actually you should have never created a company. It's like, I told that to my dad and my dad was like, this is how I know you're going to be successful because the successful people go through this. I'm like, I pray, I pray y'all in 10 years from now, hopefully before then, but I'm just saying 10 years from now when this company is the number one natural hair company in the U S in the world and and we are expanding and we have all these products that are so nutrient rich and we're helping so many women retain and men retain length. We're helping people retain length, grow their hair and have the healthiest, thickest, most luxurious hair. I pray that, you know, I'm just going to be somewhere with my man, my man, my man, my man, period. We're going to be married, obviously, and I'm going to be in it on a yacht drinking, um... A champagne, yeah, with a bowl of fried calamari, exactly, with my husband, who's massaging my feet, and I'm just going to be laughing all the way to the bank and back to Dubai, to Paris, to Brazil, you understand? I'm just going to be living life, because I, I, I built a company on honesty and integrity, and it's, yeah, yeah, that's what I pray. So, if you got anything from this video, get that I'm really trying to help you guys, I... Like, I'm really, I don't, there's, I have nothing to gain from being dishonest. I have nothing to gain from sitting up on the internet on Beyonce Snow, just say Giselle Knowles Carter internet lying. I have no, like, why would I say that? Like, why would I come in here and call you, oh, like I said, I, I'm not going to name names, but when I see your black women, like, oh, you know, I just have long hair and they, and it's like, well, what did you do? And it's like, <laughs> I drank water and it's like. I got mad, but it's like, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear, you want to get, you want to get Jackie, get him. See Jackie little cowboy hat? I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. She doesn't want to put it on right now, so she's just putting it on top of her head. She's our sheriff today, but does she look like she's messing with y'all? Doug Dimmadome, Jack, she, does she look like, she, look, yo, yo shoot, Jackie, Jackie. She not messing with y'all. She, stop, 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 stop. Don't upset us. Don't make me mad. Don't make us mad. But that bull. So that's what we have to say. Do you have anything else you want to say? What do you want to say? Oh, she's giving you a hug. She didn't mean to beat y'all up. She didn't mean to, she didn't mean to beat y'all up. You better hug her back too. I would hey. Okay? Did you hug her back? Great. So <laughs> Y'all have to know that my YouTube videos are the type you're just going to have to follow. You either get the vibes or you don't, okay? So, I love you. Jackie loves you. Let us know if you have any comments, questions, if you relate, if you if, if you love the products, if you've been using the products and you're like, yay, they work for me and I love them. Leave a comment too so you can encourage other people. I love you. Jackie loves you. We'll see you in the next video.